the 2021 Ford F-150 XLT. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find the best complete guide walkarounds on our different Ford uh, products. Uh, and we are very exclusive to the trim. We are going to talk about the XLT trim in this video. We're going to cover all the standard equipment that's standard on all XLTs. We're going to talk about the 301A equipment group, the 302A equipment group. We're going to talk about all the different packages, standalone options, even some factory accessories you may think about getting on your truck in this video. So if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button down below. That way you can get subscribed over to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So this is going to be a very extensive video. At any time though, throughout the video, if you decide you would like to do business with Law MacArthur, uh, feel free. Uh, we do free shipping. More information about the free shipping is going to be at the end of the video. Uh, also, there's a timestamp down below uh, where the free shipping is in the video. In fact, there's going to be a timestamp for all the different uh, sections of this video. I'm going to tell you right now, it's probably going to be over an hour long. The XL and the Lariat videos were over that. Uh, again, very extensive videos, but we have timestamps for everything down in the description as well as if you're watching this on desktop, you can see on the timeline itself where you can move around on the video to go to the next section. So very thorough video. So uh, without any uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about some of the different mechanical things. And uh, when you go to build and price, the first, one of the first things that you want to pick and do uh, with that, uh, th that information. Now, we are going to talk about some mechanical features like engines, uh, of course, uh, powertrains, some other features about, you know, the different uh, axles that are standard. Uh, engines are standard versus optional engines. And the XL and XLT share the same engine combinations available in standard engines as well as optional engines. So I am going to play a clip from the XL video we did just last week. Uh, so you can go ahead and go through that. If you've watched that video on the XL, you can go ahead and probably, you know, it's the same information there. You can go and fast forward to the safety uh, features if you want to down using those timestamps uh, but check this out if you haven't watched those videos here's some information on the different engines available axles that are standard uh, and some of that information so first I want to talk about some mechanical features and of course uh, first I want to talk about uh, when you're going into you can go to Ford.com and you can build out uh, this different equipment we're talking about in these vid in this video uh, and first thing you're going to notice is the cab configurations uh, and how they're going to be equipped or how you can configure those. Now, regular cab or the XL trim, I should say, can come in, in three different cab configurations and regular cab is, is only available really in XL and XLT. So you can get a regular cab. You can also get a super cab, which we're going to bring a super cab in uh, here in a little bit. So I'm giving you a clip from that uh, part of the video where we had the super cab in here, as well as you can get the super crew. Again, we're going to bring a super crew in later as well to go over some features on that, that one. So you have regular cab, super cab, and you do have the super crew versions there, as you can see uh, in that video clip. Also, you can get it in either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive in all three of those cab configurations. And also, all three cab configurations will have a short bed and a long bed option. Uh, so this one here you're seeing is a six and a half foot bed on the regular cab, also comes in an eight foot bed, either two wheel drive or four wheel drive. And then the super cab will come in either a six and a half foot bed, or you're gonna see it in an eight foot bed, just like the regular cab. Uh, so you can get in those two cab configurations, again, in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. And your super crew, their short bed is a five and a half foot bed uh, that is available uh, and either the two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive and then also you can, their long bed version is going to be a six-foot bed there. So a couple different, uh, those are your configurations. So you have 12 different configurations there. So usually when you go to build and price, you'll pick your cab, you'll pick your bed length and you, you'll dive in there and then you'll want to select the four by four if that's what you're looking for for pricing and when it revalues re those prices. So those are the different cab, drivetrain configurations for you. Now let's talk about the engines. Of course, the standard engine on most cab configurations and most bed links is going to be the 3.3 liter V6 engine. So that engine is a very capable engine. Giving going to give you the numbers down here below, uh, but that engine is, is going to be available in most configurations. Uh, the only, the only uh, drawback to that is that engine will not be available in your long bed super cab and long bed super cruise. Uh, and then, of course, let's talk about the uh, gear ratios for you and what's going to be standard. Now, there is also going to be optional gear ratios, and I'll try to put those down in the description in way of prices and such. But on the 3.3 liter, uh, the gear ratios for all your two-wheel drives will be a 355 non-limitless slip gear ratio. And then your 4x4s do have two options. If it's the uh, regular cab with the short bed like this one, 
then you're going to have a 355 non-limit slip gear ratio. But all the other configurations where you can get the 3.3 liter, the Super Cab and Super Crew short beds, uh, they will come in a 373 non-limit slip gear ratio. Now the standard engine for your two-wheel drive long beds, that's the Super Cab with the eight foot bed and your Super Crew with the six and a half foot bed will come standard with the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Now that engine is available on the other configurations as an optional engine, but it will be the standard in those, uh, type, those situations. Now, pretty good numbers as you can see there on the screen for your uh, 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. Pretty good amount of torque there, uh, matches up with the V8, which we're gonna talk about in just a little bit. Now for the gear ratios, whether it be two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, they will come standard in the 355 non-limit slip gear ratio, regardless of drivetrain, cab configuration, of course, we're talking, you know, the long beds there, but even if you do go with the optional, uh, you know, 2.7 on the shorter wheelbase and even 4x4 if you want to, it's going to have, they're going to all have the same configuration when it comes to the gear ratio. So a non limit slip, 355. Now the standard engine on your 4x4s with the long bed, so Super Cab, uh, 8 foot bed, or the Super Crew with the 6.5 foot bed, 4x4s, they will come standard in the 5.0 liter V8 engine. Again, pretty good numbers there on the screen. And keep in mind, this engine is available as an optional engine. So if you want, you have the other cab configurations and bed links, you can still upgrade to the 5.0. It's just going to be an incurred cost when you go to upgrade. And you'll see that in the building price when you do that, that there's an upfit free fee there to go up to that engine from the other engines. Now, the gear ratio on those it is a non limit slip, the standard. Uh, so they, again, uh, for the two-wheel drive, it'll be a 3 15 non limit slip gear ratio for your 4x4s, it's a 331 non limit slip gear ratios. Now, keep in mind as we're talking about these and all these other engines as well, is that there are some availabilities for optional upgrades for the gear ratio. So, if you want electronic locking, uh, you want, you know, maybe you want to upgrade to the, you know, from the 331 to the 355, you can do that. It's just going to be, again, an occurred cost. Most of those upgrade costs on those gear ratios are about $400, give or take, depending on what different gear ratio you go to and what you're coming from, uh, but you'll see those prices there on the building price as well if you want to upgrade. So don't forget to, to adjust that if you want an electronic locking gear ratios. Now let's get to talking about some different optional engines. There's three other engines we haven't talked about yet, and they are optional uh, for you, different cab configurations. This first one we want to talk about is the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. This engine is the most powerful engine when it, when it comes to towing. You want to tow the most that your F-150 can you probably want to order it with a 3.5 EcoBoost engine. Uh, it is optional and is available on any of the cab configurations. Even the regular cab can get the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine if you'd like to. Uh, so pretty good performance out of that engine. Now, regardless of that engine, uh, the drive, or if it's a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, your gear ratio that's going to be standard is going to be a 331 non-limp slip gear ratio. Again, don't forget, you can upgrade to the optional electronic locking if you want to. Uh, those numbers will be there on the building price for you. I'll try to put them down below if I can remember as well. So a pretty good engine there for you. Uh, very capable engine and that is the engine for towing. Now let's talk about the diesel engine. There is a 3.0 liter diesel engine that is available uh, for certain cab configurations. It is available uh, in the 4x4s, not available with any of the two-wheel drives and is, does require to have either a super cab or a super crew but it's not available in, any, in the eight foot bed. So you can't get a super cab with the eight foot bed, but you can get a super crew with a six and a half foot bed and get the diesel engine. So pretty good performance. That one does have a lot of towing capabilities as well, a lot of torque behind it. Not quite as much torque as the, the 3.5, but if you're wanting towing, it matches pretty closely to the 3.5 EcoBoost. So if you'd like to, to get the diesel engine, some of those farmers out there might want that engine as well. There are a couple different uh, requirements there. Also some requirements, some optional equipment you'll need to make sure you get. If you decide to get this maybe on a super cab, 4x4, you want to make sure you have the, you order the privacy glass with the rear defroster. That's going to be required if you get this engine, as well as you have to have at least the 101A equipment group, which we'll talk about here a little bit later. So those are a couple of requirements. Now the gear ratios that are going to be standard with the diesel engine are a non-limit non slip, as we've been talking about, uh, three, or the 331, same as the your 3.5 EcoBoost, as well as your 4x4 uh, 5.0. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's, that's a standard gear ratio. And again, as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> you can always get electronic locking as optional equipment. The last engine I want to talk about is the new engine for this year, the 3.5 liter power boost engine. That is an EcoBoost combined with the hybrid engine. You're also going to be required, of course, to get the hybrid 10 speed automatic transmission with this engine. Very powerful engine, as you can tell with the numbers there. Uh, it, can, it can tow not as much as the 3.5 EcoBoost, 
but lots of power behind it. Uh, lots of torque there as well uh, that'll match up pretty uh, pretty nicely and the power's there when you need it as uh, is what you get with a hybrid engine now the hybrid uh, this engine is available in only the super crew so it's available in the two-wheel drive or four by four by four super crew versions either the bed links so you can get four different configurations there for you uh, so there's there's some great options there for you but it does require to have super crew so super crew two wheel drive or four by four either of the bed links for either the uh, for the super crew either the five and a half or six and a half foot now a little bit a uh, note here is that this engine if you do order this it will come with the dual zone climate control so that's a nice engine as we get into standard equipment on the inside you'll notice that's kind of a, a nice upgrade for you so that is mentioned in the order guide there also, the, uh, the gear ratio is a little bit different for that one. The standard gear ratios will be electronic locking for the power boost because of all that power you get and all the torque you get out of that in the instant power. So it wants you to have that. Uh, the two-wheel drives will come with 355 electronic locking gear ratios. The 4x4s will come with a 373 electronic locking gear ratio. Some other mechanical things I want to talk about before we move into some of the safety features. Uh, and one of them is the different drive modes. So there are selectable drive modes for your, all your F-150s, even the XL trim. Uh, Two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive will get selectable drive modes. Uh, five of them are about the same on both two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. You will get a normal. Uh, you're going to get an eco mode. You'll get a slippery mode, which is one that I use often. You'll also get a tow haul mode, and you'll get a sport mode. So, and what those different modes are going to do is are, it's going to adjust the, you know, you're, you're shifting your transmission. Uh, it can shift differently, depends on, maybe, especially when you're in that sport mode. Also, your traction control, your stability control, some of those are going to get adjusted based on the different drive modes that you're in. So if you're in an eco mode, it wants it to shift a little bit more efficiently and not hold that. Whereas on a sport mode, you may want to hold that gear a little bit uh, before shifting. And so you're going to see it's going to shift differently. I like the slippery mode for me um, in those situations because of my EcoBoost engine, it has a lot of torque behind it. And so sometimes uh, it'll take off and it'll, the tires will spin in the wet conditions. Uh, but if when I put it in that slippery mode, it takes off a little bit easier and so that I don't spin my tires and sit there at that light or something. So I love those modes. Now two-wheel drives will get a trail mode as well. Uh, four by fours will not get a trail mode. Instead, they're going to get a deep snow sand mode and they're going to get a mud rut mode. So they're going to get seven modes. Two-wheel drives will get six modes and they've added the trail mode this year for the two-wheel drives. So selectable drive modes that I uh, probably did show you an image already. That dial right there, really easy to, uh, to just uh, rotate that dial, put it in the different drive modes and uh, try that out when you get your F-150. Uh, I think you'll really like the drive modes there. Also, a couple other things to note, there is gonna be an auto start stop on all the engines. Uh, auto start stop means that when you pull up the stop light, stop sign, you press the brake, it's gonna shut it off. It's trying to help with the missions there when all those cars are at the, 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 the stop lights and such. Uh, but it, you just let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Now, that is something that you can deactivate. Uh, I do it on my truck all the time. Uh, so if you want to, there's a little A with a circle around it there above the screen, uh, which we're going to get on that screen just a little bit, but there's that button there. That'll deactivate it for that engine cycle, so you will have to do that. Not a big deal. I've noticed it when I pull up to the first stoplight or stop sign and it shuts off. I just press the little A with the circle around it, it starts it back up right then, and then it doesn't do it again and doesn't shut it off again until I shut the vehicle off. So I uh, love how that, that works, it's pretty easy to work there. Also a couple other mechanical things before we uh, get into some of the safety features. Uh, this does have a fail safe cooling system. Uh, also you're going to notice with this it does have an auto hold as well that will help you hold the brake at those uh, different situations you want to rest your foot you can take your foot off the brake when you press that auto hold uh, so that's a, another a great a benefit to have there so that's something that's fairly new in the last couple of years for a lot of the Ford vehicles uh, that's even on the XL trim which is crazy also you're going to get a front stabilizer bar you're also going to get front independent suspension as well and you're gonna get hill start assist with these vehicles too. So some great features, great mechanical features that go in to every F-150, even the XL trim. Now most of these safety features are the same from the XL trim as the XLT. There are a few that are available in the XLT or that are standard on XLTs that we don't see on the XL. So let me cover all these safety features here. First, we do have the driver and front passenger dual stage airbag. So we'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It does have a sensor underneath those seats, so it lets it know that. And it does have, of course, the uh, nose lets you know whether or not your seat belts are bu buckled as well there. Also, you do have side impact airbags for those driver and front passenger seats uh, that'll deploy, that'll uh, 
to come out of the side of those seats from any side impact collision uh, with the vehicle. Also, you do have safety canopy airbag that's gonna deploy down from the roof line, help protect from breaking glass if you have a rollover situation. It does have roll stability control with advanced track and curve control to help you keep you on your intended path, so hopefully you don't have that happen. Uh, but some, some of those safety features that help you uh, so you don't have those accidents there. Uh, so pretty good uh, system there. Also, uh, go along with that, you do have SOS post crash alert system. So, so if you are in an accident, you're off the side of the road, it'll honk the horns, flash the lights, uh, so somebody can come to your safety. Also, you do have 911 assist. If you Bluetooth your phone in and you set that up, we'll call 911 directly uh, or an emergency contact if you want to in those situations by you being able to use the uh, voice commands there. So great systems there uh, with all that. Now let's talk about some other safety uh, features that are on this. Uh, Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, standard equipment on all of your F-150s. What's great about it is if there's someone stopped in front of you going much slower than you, you're not paying attention, not uh, slowing down, it's gonna use a little message on the dash, series of tones that you need to stop, the car in front of you stopped, uh, if you don't, it'll initiate a, a dynamic brake support to help stop or lessen the severity of that accident. And it really engages it so that when you do hit your brakes, you're already slowing down. So it's a great system. Also on the XLTs, you're gonna get post-collision braking. So if you maybe are knocked unconscious, something where you're not able, you didn't put it in park, it's gonna uh, break so uh, after that accident so you don't go wander into another lane, making an accident even worse than it could be. So also as you're backing up, also XLT has the uh, is a standard on XLT that's not available on the, the XL is a reverse brake assist. So as you're backing up, uh, if you're not paying attention, just like the front sensor, there's someone behind you, it's gonna initiate that, that warning signal for you and it's gonna go ahead and break if you're not paying attention. So reverse brake assist, a new technology uh, recently, it's uh, really come over to the uh, F-150 for this year and it's standard on the XLT trim. Also, uh, that goes along with uh, some of those other safety features. Kids back here, you do have the child safety locks on these doors, so you can lock those out. Uh, so that way they're not uh, opening those doors so you don't want them to. Also the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. So you can use those little, uh, little harnesses on your super cab, super cruise to lower, to uh, go ahead and buckle those safety uh, seats back into those, or, you know, those booster seats back in the back of the uh, F-150 uh, in those seats. So that's really great having those, that latch system there. Pretty much standard on a lot of vehicles anymore. And then there is a secure lock and a theft system and the perimeter alarm, also the standard equipment on the XLT. Uh, we didn't always see that on the XL trim. So some great safety features here, but you really wanna talk about walking around the vehicle, what's different on the XLT. So let's go ahead and start moving to the front of the vehicle and we'll walk our way around the vehicle. Now, as we walk around this, we're gonna cover the 300A, uh, the standard equipment on that's first, and then we're gonna talk about 301A equipment group and 302. Now, this truck happens to have the 302A equipment group, so there's some features and some differences from a stock 300A versus a 302. We actually are not gonna be stocking a 300A probably this year uh, in, our, on our, in our inventory on the lot, uh, just because we'll notice when we go up to 301 and 302 why we choose not to go with just a base 300A. Uh, but we will show you some differences from Ford's website. So if you see some of those clips different from what we're seeing here, that is why. And the first one would be with the grill here because the grill does look a little different on the base XL. It will have the chrome surround like this does, but inside the, the middle would be black bars in the middle there and, the, and uh, black inserts there as well. So that's kind of the difference between this uh, chrome package and your base XLT. 300 and 301A grills there. Your headlights here will be an automatic halogen headlight. So automatic means it come on automatically when it gets dark, turn off when it gets light. Really cool, the switch has been updated like the Escape and some of the other SUVs uh, and recently in the last year uh, for the F-150 as well. So when you turn, maybe you turn those headlights off, shut the vehicle off when you engine cycle again, turn the vehicle back on, and I'm gonna go to auto setting for you. So that way you don't forget to turn your headlights on. So pretty cool about that. Also, you do have the rain lamp. So when your wipers are on, your headlights will be on as well. Most states, that is a state law. You're covered there. If you have the wipers on, those headlights will come on, even if you have an on the off setting there. Also, auto high beams. Auto high beams are part of the Copilot 360 features. Uh, so auto high beams, a lot like your automatic headlights, if it's dark enough outside, auto high beams will come on. And if there's city, somebody in the city lights or somebody approaches you, they'll shut off. 
Uh, that is a feature. If you don't like that feature, then you can activate and deactivate in the lighting section of your vehicle settings uh, in the, the main touch screen here on these vehicles. So um, that's uh, how you can adjust those. So really cool up there. Also, you're going to see the chrome bumpers are going to be standard equipment on all of your XLTs and you're gonna get halogen fog lights as well. So the fog lights will be standard equipment on all XLTs, uh, having that up there too. Four by fours will get black tow hooks down here. So you'll have those, this is Chrome again, Chrome appearance package, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but you will have the black tow hooks on the front. Two wheel drives will not have tow hooks on the front. And then license plate bracket will be standard equipment in states that require a front license plate. Kansas is not one of those states, so we'll talk about uh, those other people in those states and how it's optional equipment when we get to optional equipment section. And moving around over here to the side, you do have a fully boxed steel frame, just like last year, aluminum body alloy, although they have changed all about all the body panels for 21 model year. Your fenders are a little bit sculpted a little bit differently. Even your doors look a little different as well. Uh, so a whole new redesign on the body itself here. Even your door handles, everything are redesigned for this year. Your shocks, you're gonna get heavy duty gas shocks front and rear. Difference is the ones on the rear are gonna be mounted on the outside of those leaf springs uh, that are there. Front springs will be the springs, uh, the, you'll see the springs up there, the coils I should say, uh, there on the front. Uh, also the, uh, the standard wheel on these is gonna be a 17 inch alloy wheel. So it's gonna be a silver painted alloy wheel on all your gas engines. Uh, now your diesel engines will be an 18 inch uh, alloy wheel with the magnetic painted pockets. So a little bit different wheel on the diesel uh, versus the gas. Uh, both of those will come with tire pressure monitoring system as well. Uh, two wheel drives will come with all season tire. The four by fours will come with all terrain tires and then four wheel disc brakes on the front as well as the rear uh, for the brakes there. Your fender badge over here is gonna be a very functional fender bab badge and allow for airflow out uh, in and out. And uh, you do have the chrome accent that is gonna be standard equipment. That's not part of the chrome package that it will be the fender badge on all of your XLT F-150s. Mirrors will be a black mirror cap like you're seeing here. You will not see that light there. <laughs> it does have power and heat feature that comes along with that mirror. Uh, manual fold in, so you just kind of fold it, you know, manually like that, in and out when you need to. For this year, XLT standard equipment, Bliss. Blind spy information system with cross check of alert. Uh, one of my favorite safety features, if there's someone in your blind spot when you're trying to go in the lane, you look in the mirror, it's gonna have a little light in those, uh, that corner there and let you know there's someone in your blind spot. Uh, if you have your turn signal on, it's gonna blink for you as well. And then as you're backing up, cross traffic alert uses the same sensor. So if somebody's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna let you know with a series of tones. You need to not back up, even puts a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right. Even puts a little, uh, little light in that corner too, like it does if there's someone in your blind spot. And then also the Bliss does work on your trailer. So it uh, does uh, cover your trailer. So if you have a trailer on there, of course you have that connected into your system. It tells you that you wanna include trailer monitoring for your Bliss. It will monitor the blind spot of your trailer as well, unless you know if there's someone in your trailer's blind spot. Sometimes, especially on those long trailers, it's a little hard to, to, to figure out if you're clear to be able to go over. Uh, the Bliss system will help you out with that. Your door handles will be a uh, molded in black door handle. So I'm gonna give you a clip so you can kind of look at those door handles, see how they're different for the base XLT. They'll be molded in black for the front as well as the rear. Now keep in mind, of course, regular cab just have the two doors. Crew cab will have the four like this. Super cab will have that swing open door. So you have to open up the front door and then the rear door will be able to fold 170 degrees in. Makes it a little bit easier getting in and out of the, that rear seat on the super cabs in those parking lots uh, and such like that. Uh, uh, the run boards are part of the chrome package. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Also, you do have the easy fuel capless filler door. So uh, have this for several years, so no cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Just put the nozzle in. When you're done, go ahead and just close the door. Um, it is a double door system, so you have to worry about people getting in there. Uh, your fuel can, your, your uh, little cans that you, when you run out of gas, will not fit in there without the funnel. So it comes, the vehicle comes with that. Uh, it'll be located with your jack behind the rear seat on the passenger side of the cab. Uh, so that's where that's located and you would just uh, fill it up that way. So uh, easy fuel cap is full or pretty cool. Also standard uh, fuel tank size is 23 gallon for your regular cab and your super cab. 26 gallon is going to be standard on your super crew. Now as we move to the back, back here you will see the, uh, the, the tail lights here. They're going to be halogen as well, just like the front ones were. 
Uh, here on the uh, tailgate itself, you're gonna see body colored applique. Uh, the handle here will be black uh, as your standard uh, handle there. You will have rear view camera as well as reverse sensing. Standard equipment, so as you're backing up, you can be able to see behind you. Also gonna get the reverse sensing. That goes along with the reverse brake assist. And so that's why you have reverse sensing as standard equipment, all XLTs for this year. Also gonna be the chrome bumpers back here as well. You will have trailer sway control. Uh, hitches we'll get into in just a little bit, but trailer sway control with the four pin wiring. So if you wanna pull something with just a bumper, you can do that and have that capabilities. You will have a full size spare under there. So you can get to that uh, by using this little, uh, this. Uh, key right here you take your key put it in there turn it take that out and that's how you can access that uh, you can get the jack from behind the the seat in the cab like we talked about earlier um, I actually did a video last year on how to find your jack on an f-150 also how to lower the jack uh, you can check that video out under our how-to videos on our youtube channel as well there uh, you will have on that back glass you're going to have uh, rear defrost also privacy glass on not only the back glass but the back windows on your super cab and super crew models as well Let's go ahead and lower this down. Now this does have a power tailgate. That is optional equipment. We'll get into how you can tame the power tailgate in just a little bit. Uh, but all your uh, beds at the top will have these little openings here and that is gonna be for any kind of clamps that you might wanna use. If you wanna work off the tailgate, you're gonna be able to do that. So all of the trucks will have that. Uh, tailgate step and the, wor or in the work surface is uh, something else we'll get to in just a little bit, show you how you can obtain that as, uh, as optional equipment. Also, you're gonna see tie downs for this year on the tailgate itself. So I like that they've added that. If you have things up over the tailgate, you wanna secure down onto the tailgate. It's nice having these tie downs over here and from the bottom, you can use it as a bottle opener. So I think that's something I picked up from the Bronco and Bronco Sport uh, for this year here. Uh, so inside you're gonna have tie downs, four of them. So you're gonna have two uh, towards the back back here and two uh, towards the cab. So you can be able to tie those things down and we'll get into box link and LED box lighting and we get to optional equipment, different packages and equipment groups as we move up. But that's all your uh, equipment here in the bed area. Let's move inside, a couple features I wanna show you in there as well. Before moving inside, one thing I almost forgot uh, is the Pro Power on board. So for this year, you can get the full hybrid. We mentioned that as the engines. The hybrids will come standard with a 2.4 kilowatt Pro Power on board generator. Uh, that's going to be positioned over here on the beside the truck. This actually happens to be a 2.0. It was, it's optional equipment. We'll get into optional equipment just a little bit on your gas engines, but you can get the generator on the gas engines too. But all your hybrids will come standard with that 2.4 kilowatt uh, Pro Power on board. Uh, they will not be available on the Super Cab uh, models with the long bed though, uh, but they're going to be standard equipment on all your Super Crews and your uh, Super Cabs, regular cabs uh, with the, the full hybrid engine. Now moving to the interior, this does have two different color interiors that are available in the XLT trim, unlike the XL. So you do have, just like in the XL, the black environment with the medium dark slate interior, which is that gray interior, or for the XLT, you have the Baja tan, which is a new color for this year. Black environment with the Baja colored seats, lower part of the uh, instrument panel or the, the dash as well as on the doors. Uh, so you will see the two differences there and i uh, give you some clips from this particular one uh, but also I'll give you of course i probably already showed you some of the dark slate uh, from the uh, website there on 4.com so uh, the also getting in you're going to have a uh, carpeted flooring it's going to be standard equipment with the carpeted mats uh, so carpeted floor mats also will come standard equipment uh, you will get scuff plates on the front doors for the driver and front passenger so getting in uh, you're going to see those uh, the covering up over those the molding and such so that way they'll stay in place there uh, so real nice the seating configuration will be cloth seats will be standard equipment 40 20 40 split bin seat just like you're seeing with this particular vehicle which is really nice that it uh, has that uh, the 20 percent seat does have storage underneath there so there's a little lever up here you just press that and that will actually lock too so if you want to put some things in here you can lock it up so you have some storage under there for that seat there also the backrest itself and you'll notice it does have the uh, shoulder harness on that middle seat you just press that little lever there lays it down uh, giving you an armrest for those on the outside most people will use it like this and lift it up when they need it you'll see two cup holders slot for your cell phone as well as a little compartment to put some things in in there as well with a padded cloth covered um, armrest right there for you too that's probably where i'll leave it for the rest of the video here the uh, the seats here are going to be a two-way manual adjustment seat so you'll have a lever up here on the front you'll also have one for the backrest uh, for those the driver and the front passenger over here 
back seat super crew super cab we'll get a 60 40 split bench seat back there uh, similar to what you're seeing with the super crew model here those seats can flip up uh, give you some uh, storage or give you more room back there to put things in if you need to especially the super crews lots of room back there and you can see lots of leg room as well here the door you do have power windows locks and mirror switches here on the door you'll have auto one touch for those front windows which means they'll go up and down just by hard pressing them or hard pulling them up uh, just once and it's going to go ahead and lower them down or up however you want to do that there so real nice even your uh, your back windows will get power windows for the super crew as well as even the super cab will get power windows uh, back there too uh, you will get a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you just lever over here on the left side you just pull that down it'll go up and down forward and back just like that so you can get it just right recommend moving the seat to where the legs are just right and then moving the steering wheel accordingly and then locking it back into place you will get cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel is standard equipment on all your xlts your uh, buttons on the bottom that will control your audio controls and your bluetooth button right there is where that's going to be to be able to use the sync system we'll talk about in just a little bit on the right side are the buttons at the top are going to control your four point uh, your 4.2 inch productivity screen this one looks a little different again this is upgraded so it's going to be similar to what your XL productivity screen is going to look like so I'll give you a clip from the XL video that I did uh, so you can see what that looks like the bottom buttons will be uh, your presetting for your radio and such on the right and then you're to, to hang up your phone right there if you want to go ahead and disconnect your phone when you're using the sync technology there drive modes earlier we talked about drive modes that position for that button is going to be right here uh, two-wheel drive so they'll have a little tray here uh, and four by and, and and such and so there is actually that's actually the open slot for integrated trailer brake controller, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Uh, this vehicle does not have, uh, but your drive modes with the 4x4, four four, uh, two high, four high, and four low will be right here. Uh, easy to get to right by the, the climate control. Talk about the climate control. This is actually an upgraded climate. You're going to get a single zone uh, climate control. Again, I'm going to give you an image from a, an XL truck to show you what a, that's going to look like. Uh, your switch is right below that. You're going to have a power point as well as a USB type C and USB uh, type A port right there, uh, right below your climate control. And then also you're going to get a little uh, compartment down here to be able to store some things down below there uh, for uh, your vehicle there. Your audio system is an AM FM uh, stereo with uh, four speakers for the regular cab, six speakers for the super cab and super crew. You will get an 8-inch touchscreen, so just like in the XL. Again, I'm giving you clips from the XL video, so you can see what that's going to look like. So 8-inch touchscreen will be standard equipment with the Sync 4, the new Sync 4 system with the over-the-air updates, better uh, cloud-connected navigation or cloud-connected system there. And you'll also get with this, you're going to get the Ford Pass Connect. Uh, you're going to also get the owner, digital owner's manual, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all those features to expect from the uh, the Sync system, uh, being able to use that. And then, of course, Ford Pass app, you connect to that app uh, with, with your phone so you can go ahead and remote start from anywhere, unlock a locker vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start time, some great features uh, with that there. Uh, also, you're going to see up here on the mirror, the mirror will be a day-night mirror. It should be a lever underneath the mirror. You flip that lever, it's going to be able to adjust if someone's coming up behind you with those bright lights. Overhead console with the sunglass bin as well up there, so you're going to be able to uh, stow that away with your overhead lights, uh, switches right up there too. Uh, so I think I covered everything, uh, the standard equipment. Uh, we'll get into some different uh, other packages next. Uh, so you'll see 300A is pretty well equipped. But the 301A adds a lot of convenience features, and that's probably why we're ordering almost all of our trucks in at least the 301A equipment group. So let's talk about that. Now we're going to talk about the 301A equipment group, very popular equipment group. And we usually elect to go at least with the power equipment group or the, the 301A equipment group on all of our trucks. We very rarely just order 300A. And let me show you why. A lot of convenience features with this. Starting on the outside, the mirrors will be upgraded. You already get a power heated mirror with the Bliss. Now you're going to get the turn signal indicator on the outside. And then it also gives you the auto dimming rear view mirror on the inside in here. So that's going to be able to dim. So the cars will come up behind with those bright lights. They're going to automatically dim it. You don't have to worry about flipping any lever there. Keypad, the secure code, passive uh, keyless entry keypad on the outside so you can set your own special code be able to unlock and lock the vehicle lock your keys inside if you want to use your code to get in and out uh, that's nice or if you don't have the keys on you you can use a keypad class 4 receiver hitch package is going to be included in the 301a equipment group so you're going to have the class 4 receiver hitch 
you're going to have not only the four pin wiring but also the seven pin wiring there and you're going to get the smart trailer tow connector as well as part of that so it's going to include the hitch uh, with the 301 equipment group you can see one of those reasons why we get this also the driver does ha get eight-way power adjustable seat including power lumbar so pretty similar to what you're seeing with this one uh, on the side over here so that's going to be that way passenger seat will still be the manual adjustments over there steering wheel will be a leather wrap steering wheel so real nice upgrade to that i love a leather wrap steering wheel you're going to get upgraded with that you're also going to get the upgrade to the 8 inch productivity screen so that's a nice feature uh, i think my truck last year still is stuck with the 4 inch even though my expedition had an 8 inch uh, I love the look of it. It helps you seeing up your information about your off-road capabilities, your towing, all those features with a nice 8-inch productivity screen, similar to what we did see last year in the vehicle. Uh, so it's real nice having that. Dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. So it upgrades it to a dual zone now with this uh, 301A equipment group. So I love that. Uh, also, it does have uh, one thing in the, in the back on the Super Cab and Super Crew models. You're going to get the underseat storage. So that's going to be nice. Uh, this one does not have the underseat storage because if you do get the Pro Power on board, it takes that away. So just keep that in mind. If you get the Pro Power on board, you will not get the under the seat storage on your Super Crew and Super Cab models. And then you get the enhanced sync four system so the enhanced sync four system get upgrades it some more uh, it gives you more conversational type navigation system this is where you're going to get the uh, the wake up words that a lot of people have been talking about where you can actually say okay forward or or uh, you know different things like okay forward pass yes forward and uh, you can program them in there so that way it's looking for that and then it's listening so you don't have to press the button you can just say okay forward and then it listens, it's going to beep, then you can go ahead and say your commands. That's nice having that. Also, it's going to come with the Series XM with the 360L, the new 360L. So if you have a Ford Series on your app and you're transitioning to your car, it's going to transition over to what you're listening to on the app. So nice and how that works. Also, it's going to come with the connected navigation. Uh, as well so this is a nice upgrade uh, to the system so it gives you that na nice upgraded sync 4 system uh, with so much um, better uh, control there with it so i love that so again 301a equipment group includes a lot of convenience features a lot of features that we typically will order most of our vehicles in again 300 day is usually not what we're re where we order our vehicles we order most of them in a 301 or the 302a equipment group let's talk about that equipment group next now let's talk about the 302A equipment group. Very popular equipment group because it includes uh, tons of features uh, included in this equipment group. Uh, in fact, uh, you get everything as part of the 302A equipment group plus all these other features I'm about ready to talk about. Now starting on the inside, instead of just a power driver seat eight-way, you're gonna get power and front passenger 10-way power adjustable seat, including your power lumbar. Heated seat as well for the driver and front passenger uh, with this feature here. You're going to also get upgraded with the 400 watt outlet. So it is going to replace, I forgot to mention because I, I knew that this had the 400 watt outlet, uh, but that, uh, the outlet over there to the right of your climate control is going to include your, it's going to take away instead of two USB ports, typically you will get those, and it's going to give you an outlet there on the instrument panel. If you have the bucket seats, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, are optional equipment for you. If you have the bucket seats, you also have an outlet that replaces the two USB ports behind the, on the back of the console there. And then in the bed, this one happens to have the 400 watts, so you see one outlet in the bed as well where that Pro Power on board would be located. So you're going to have an outlet back there too as part of that 400 watt that's included as part of the 302A equipment group. But most of the features are here on the outside of the vehicle. So chocked full of equipment here. And one of them is the upgrades to your mirrors. So you're going to get your power mirror. Now heat, turn signal like on the 301A, but now you're going to get a spotlight, LED spotlight on the outside and, and the high intensity LED security approach lamp as well to the mirror. So some great upgrades telling you where that's going to come into play in just a little bit. Also, you're going to get intelligent access. So you still have the uh, keypad entry on there. Now intelligent access. So I just have the key fob in my hand, pocket, whatever. Walk up, put my hands in door handle. It's going to unlock the vehicle for me. I'm going to get inside. Use the push button start to start the vehicle. So you don't have to get the key out of your pocket whatsoever to get in and out or to start it. Just uh, run your hand over that little black knob and it's going to go ahead and lock the vehicle up for you. So great how that works. And you'll notice the, uh, if I walk away and I come back, it'll actually start as I approach the vehicle, it's going to turn the security approach lamps on 
and light up the, the side. Or like in this situation where I've been kind of mingling around the vehicle, when I put it in my hands and door handle, it's going to automatically do that as well. So you notice the LED lights here for the mirrors. You're going to also get some other LED light features as well, including those on the front of the vehicle. So LED reflector headlights, also you're going to get LED signature lighting around those headlights, and you're going to get the LED fog lights. So full LEDs on the front. So we're going to be able to light up the front with LEDs, the side, both sides with LEDs, also inside, you're gonna get the LED box lighting. So LED box lighting in there, as well as the zone lighting is included with that. So zone lighting means it uses these all these LEDs we've been talking about to light up around the vehicle using the big 12 inch touchscreen. So yes, you get upgraded with an upgraded 12 inch touchscreen with this feature here too. Kind of left that to just now. So when you go to 302A, big 12 inch touchscreen uh, with everything that we did see as the enhanced SYNC 4 system, giving you the connected navigation on this screen and all those other features with the big 12 inch, having the zone lighting feature right there on that touchscreen as well. So great features there. Also with this, uh, this remote, uh, just one last feature here to talk about. You're gonna get the remote with the, uh, the now the, the key's gonna be a little differently. You don't have the flip key now, it just hides inside. But on the remote, you're gonna see a two with the circle around it. That is the remote start. So it's gonna come with remote start system on the remote. You don't have to pull out the app if you want to. Uh, you can, if you're close enough, use the remote start. Also, you're gonna see another button on there that's gonna include the, it has a picture of the back of the truck. So it does have power release for the the uh, tailgate there. So tailgate, power release, like we did see in the Lariat last year, now is available on the 302A equipment group on the XLT. So just press that twice and it's gonna pop and release the tailgate down, lower it down nice and slow for you so you can get in and out. So uh, you still would have to uh, manually uh, shut that tailgate, but it does release it for you, especially if you have your hands full so that that can be done. And of course, all the LED lights inside as well as on the back. So some great features there. Also with this 302A equipment group, just like with last year, you're gonna get an appearance package. Typically Ford says the Chrome appearance package comes standard with this, but you can also upgrade for the Sport appearance package at just a little bit more cost. So we're gonna cover those two appearance packages next because they are also optional equipment on that 301A equipment group. So let's talk about those. So let's talk about the Chrome Appearance Package. The Chrome Appearance Package is included in the 302A Equipment Group at no cost. That can also get as optional equipment on the 301A Equipment Group. So uh, I forgot to mention earlier, the 302A is not available with the regular cab. So regular cab stops at 301A Equipment Group. Uh, I'm sure I flashed it on the screen there. Um, so just so you know that, also with the XLT Chrome Appearance Package on the 301A Equipment Group is not in, not available with the 30, not with the regular cab as well. And this, of course, this package isn't available with the sport appearance package it's one of the two appearance packages and it's not available with the heavy duty payload package so talk about the chrome appearance package pretty popular here it is going to accent and give you some nice chrome accents as we did see with the grill up there a chrome grill not only the surround there but also the the one that comes through the middle of the grill is going to be accented chrome as well black uh, accent behind that if you have a four wheel drive it'll get the chrome tow hooks as well up there uh, you'll get 18 inch chrome wheels like you're seeing with this particular vehicle here so standard 18 inch chromes on this you can elect to go with optional upgraded 20 inch chrome wheels we'll get to that when we get to optional equipment uh, but those will be available if you want to get some nice 20s uh, you have chrome step bars over here on the side so just like you're seeing with this particular vehicle here nice chrome uh, runner boards that will be standard equipment on those whether it's be two-wheel drive or four by four Chrome door handles, so you're gonna see the door handles will be chrome accented, uh, front and back if you have a Super Crew. Also the tailgate applique on the back will also get the chrome accent. And then on the other side, where the exhaust tip is, you're gonna have a chrome exhaust tip as well included as part of this uh, package here. So again, XLT Chrome Appearance Package uh, is uh, something that's included cost-wise in the 302A Equipment Group and is available as a standalone option on the 301A Equipment Group Super Cab and Super Crew models. So let's talk about the Sport Appearance Package. Sport Appearance Package, uh, just like on the 302A Equipment Group, you can order this instead of the Chrome Appearance Package. Maybe a little bit cost difference because of the bumpers, which we'll talk about in just a second. Um, but this is also optional equipment on the 301A Equipment Group. So only available on Super Cab and Super Crew. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so the, on the Super Cab model, it's not available with the long bed. So Super Cab short bed, as well as both of your uh, cabs, uh, your bed links, for your Super Crew, this is gonna be available. Of course, not available with the Chrome Appearance Package. 
It makes sense there. Not available with the heavy duty payload package or the 3.3 liter uh, V6 engine. So not available with those different options there. Now there is gonna be something different on the diesel uh, engines with this one. Uh, as we get going, I'll kind of totally talk to you about that. Now, checking this out, uh, you can see the grill does change. So instead of that chrome grill up there, you're going to see that uh, more of that gray grill. They don't they say accent color, but it's kind of like a dark gray accent there on the front of the grill. So it looks sharp. Uh, the surround as well as the insert, the middle one, the loop that kind of goes through there as well. It's going to be that darker color. Your uh, bumpers will be body colored instead of chrome. So body colored uh, uh, front and rear bumpers. Your Four by fours, we'll get the black tow hooks up there like come factory on the 300 and 301A equipment group. The wheel is gonna look a little different than this wheel here. And the standard wheel will be 18 inch uh, machine faced uh, wheel with the, uh, the high gloss painted pockets. Uh, so that's gonna be a little, showing a clip of that from the Forge website with that wheel on it as a st in the standard wheel. Uh, all your diesels will get this wheel here as well as this is the optional wheel on your gas engines. So all the diesels require a 20 inch wheel. Uh, so uh, that's going to be uh, looking like this one right here that you're seeing in the image or in the, in the tr on this truck right here. You're going to see the, uh, the fender badge will change. So this will be one time you'll see something other than chrome on the XLT. So it's going to have that more of that accent color, same as the grill and the running boards. So the running boards are called an accent color. They look almost black. So it's that dark color there to those uh, over here on the running boards. And as optional equipment, we'll talk about optional equipment a little bit, uh, is you can get the extended running board on this too. So the six inch is instead. Body color door handles. So instead of the uh, black that you get uh, on the 300A and 301, it's going to upgrade it to the body colored uh, or, you know, the chrome package got the chrome uh, door handle. So those are the three different accents there. Also, you're going to get the sport decal here on the side. So always have that on there unless you get the FX4 package. FX4 package decal will always uh, be in place of the sport one. You'll get the chrome exhaust tip as well, just like in the chrome package uh, on that exhaust tip. And on the inside, this is a one time you're going to see the full black interior, black environment, black seats uh, with the sports bucket seats here. Always get the bucket seats with a nice accent and unique sport interior trim with the nice gray accents on the, on the console. You will get the floor console pass through with the console shifter. The only way you can get the console shifter on an XLT is with this package. Uh, so that con that what's really cool about this shifter is that you can press that button and that shifter will fold down in so it folds flat because you can get the interior work surface, which we'll talk about when we get to optional equipment. Uh, but that gives you a little bit unique interior, interior seating configuration that's only available on the sport package so very uh, popular package here a lot of times people will order the 302a and they can go either the chrome package or the sport appearance packets but it is optional equipment on the 301a as well now another package you may consider getting is the fx4 off-road package and the fx4 off-road package is actually optional equipment on all trims it's not standard and it's, it has the same requirements on all trim uh, really no different options there so I'm gonna play a clip from the XL video just to make things a little easier here for me uh, so go ahead and uh, check this out uh, this, this uh, part of the clip does show you how you can get the FX4 package what the requirements are and what it's available with since this truck is in here and it happens to have this package we're going to talk about the FX4 off-road package next uh, that is your off-road package uh, a couple different requirements for this package one you do have to have the XL high 101a equipment group uh, is available in any of your cab configurations, also available in almost any of your engines other than the 3.3 liter. So available in all the, the other five engines except for the 3.3 liter and of course does require to have 4x4. So let's talk about some of the equipment that's included in this uh, off-road package. Uh, a couple of those are a feature that's brand new for this year. So it is going to get you some upgrades to your shocks. So up there on the front you're going to get the off-road tuned front shocks and on the back you're going to get the monotube rear shocks so it does upgrade those shocks to be able to handle going off-road uh, also does give you the skid plates to protect it underneath for when you go off-road uh, also is going to give you uh, upgraded electronic locking gear ratio for your engine so if your engine came with a 331 then you're going to get electronic locking 331 and on, in the case of that 2.7 liter you're going to get upgraded to from the 355 uh, non aluminum slip to the 355 electronic locking gear ratios. Now there are some options here for you. You can upgrade as optional equipment to go from 331 to 355 and from 355 to 373 if you'd like. Uh, just keep that in mind. Now 
Do you rem uh, remember that the Power Boost engine already comes with a 373 electronic locking or 355 for the two-wheel drive? Of course, this isn't available in two-wheel drive, but so that 4x4 would get would keep that 373 electronic locking gear ratio. This also comes with hill descent control, uh, so that'll uh, help you uh, coming down from any hills, especially when you're going off-road. Uh, so pretty nice look. Also, it does give you the FX4 off-road badging on the side, uh, going just like with this one here. There's the STX. It's going to get the FX4 decal instead. And then inside you will get also the all-weather mats. Uh, so you get all-weather mats, you can get it with or without the carpeted mat, which is kind of something different for the last couple years. Uh, so you can get the just the all-weather if you know you're not going to want to change those out, or you can get it with the carpeted mats. Also new for this year, you have a rock crawl mode. So rock crawl mode helps you to go uh, off 4x4 uh, four four, uh, even more. So it uh, just helps you with this package. Uh, last year, uh, that rock crawl mode was not available with the F-150 unless you went to Raptor. Uh, so now available in the FX4 package for this year, uh, just like the Ranger had it for last year, and just like the Super Duty Tremor package has. So uh, this is a, a great uh, way to be able to go off-road, uh, a great package, and a couple different options. Uh, you can, as I mentioned, upgrade the, the gear ratios, but you can also upgrade the tires. Uh, we didn't mention that as a part of this equipment group because 4x4s will come with an all-terrain tire, but if you want to upgrade it to the LT265 all-terrain tires, uh, you can do that as optional equipment. Now let's talk about a th new package for this year, a couple of them actually. First, I want to talk about the 360 degree camera package. Again, new for this year, available in any of your equipment groups, even a 300A. Uh, it does require you to have either a trailer tow package or a max trailer tow package because you're, it's really assuming you want to get this so to help you with towing with those different cameras around the vehicle. So it is going to include uh, your, not only the camera in the back, we already have, it's going to include a camera underneath the Ford emblem on the front and it's going to include cameras on the side view mirrors over here. Now this package will require you to get the upgraded mirror. So if you're looking at this on the 300A or the 301A, uh, it is going to ask you to upgrade to that mirror package we talked about as part of the 302A equipment group with the security approach lamp down there as well as the spotlight mirror. So it will ask you to upgrade to this mirror. So if you add that to there on the building price and, ask, and you notice it requires you to upgrade the mirror, that is why because it's needing that. So now with this you can see completely around the vehicle 360 degrees, uh, whether you have the 8 inch touchscreen or the 12 inch from the 32A equipment group, you're gonna be able to see all the way around you. Even has a camera on the back of the cap, forgot about that one. So that way as you're backing, you're backing up to a fifth wheel, you're gonna be able to use that to hook up to a fifth wheel by yourself uh, using that, uh, that system. Also includes a trailer reverse guidance as well, so you can back up. Uh, trailers a little bit easier being able to see right down the side of those, uh, those uh, vehicle, those camp campers and different trailers and such. So a real nice package again. Uh, this is someone that wanting to tow, so it does require to have the, either the trailer tow package or a max trailer tow package, but it's available on any of your equipment groups. Now we're talking about another package that's new for this year that is pretty similar to the 360 degree camera package and that's a tow technology package. Again, uh, it's thinking you're wanting to tow with this package here so uh, it's available on any of your equipment groups uh, but this package is not available with your trailer tow package or your max trailer tow package because it includes the features that you normally get from those packages. So tow technology is a very inexpensive package. In fact, it's cheaper than your tow package but includes all the features from your tow package. So this is a really nice it does include the 363 cameras, so all the cameras we talked about as part of that camera system, but all, and also includes the trailer reverse guidance, but also includes, includes two other features that help you with your towing, and one of them is your integrated trailer brake controller is included with this package, as well as you're going to get the Pro Backup Assist, that dial that simply helps you back up your trailer using the cameras uh, to be able to do that. So, uh, so great package. Again, this package, a little different than a 360 camera because it does include a couple features, uh, but does require you to also have the class four receiver hitch, uh, which of course, once you go up to 301A, that's gonna be standard on XLT, but on the 300A would require to get that class four receiver hitch and to get this package. So let's talk about another package that's new for this year that does require either of those two packages we just talked about. So this is the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 requires either the uh, 360 camera package or the tow technology package says it re relies on those cameras to help you use this system. So this is the intelligent adaptive cruise control. Yes, it is available on the XLT trim as optional equipment on the 301 
or 302A Equipment Group. Uh, so this is a fabulous, includes the, the cruise control with stop and go. So it'll even do, you know, that uh, rush hour traffic time type of uh, stuff there. Also does have the new uh, lane centering system. So it keeps you in the center of your lane, a little different than the lane keeping system. Uh, so that's, that's great having that. Also, it does also include the intersection assist. Uh, so that'll help you out. That's new for this year as well. So intersection assist, speed sign recognition as well is included in this. So it recognizes the speed signs. So as you have that crew set, if the, you know, you've had it set at a plus or minus over the speed limit, it'll adjust as the speed changes on the speed signs. It sees those, recognizes those, and will adjust your cruise control based on the speed signs. <laughs> That's great. Also, you do get the intersection assist, evasive steering assist as well. Uh, to help you if you can have to need to avoid that accident it'll help uh, severely assist in your turning uh, so to evade that you know that accident and then the connected built-in navigation a little different than the connected navigation connect navigation comes with no subscription for the navigation the built-in navigation then gives you a couple months free before you have to sign up for the subscription so you can see if you like it for a couple months first so this is a great package but it, the, again this package is available in a 301a equipment group or 302a equipment group and does require one of those two camera packages either a 360 camera package or the tow technology package now let's talk about towing for a second. There is a package you can get uh, that helps you with your towing and that's the trailer tow package. In the past, the trailer tow package and max trailer tow package included some upgrades to the engine to help it uh, you know, function a little bit more. Now it's really in a sense just some features that you get with your packages here. So the trailer tow package is gonna include the class four receiver hitch. Oh, by the way, this package is available on any of your equipment groups. So even the 300A where you wouldn't have the hitch. Uh, but on the 301, 302, it's only going to give you about three other options as part of this package. So a uh, trailer tow package will include your receiver hitch. So class four receiver hitch with your wiring over here and your smart trailer tow connector helping you, uh, you know, manage uh, your trailers and such. Also, you're going to get the LED light back here like you're seeing with this particular vehicle here. So it's easier to back up two trailers at nighttime. But also, it's going to include the integrated trailer brake controller and you're gonna get that pro trailer backup assist. So this is a great package if you're wanting those things. Now, if you're, you know, I am gonna be doing a video this uh, coming up. Uh, I'll probably actually be, by the time this video is live, it'll be live. So you might check that out about the towing and how you should order uh, these on the 21 F-150 because there are some things that have changed on these. So definitely refer to that video uh, that I'm gonna do on the, uh, from our Tech Tuesday video uh, that really kind of talks about how you should order your trucks with the different packages because this trailer tow package is a, uh, $1,000 package where like a tow technology package is only $880 and includes all the same features. So you might check that video out uh, that we did on that, but trailer tow package is available for you. There are some, uh, some differences there because if you're wanting uh, some different mirrors, the trailer tow mirrors, uh, you will have to get this package instead of the tow technology package. Now let's talk about the Max Trailer Tow Package, and this package is available on more engines for this year. It's available on pretty much all engines except for the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine, and it's not available with the 3.3 liter, but it's available on your 5.0, your 3.0 diesel, uh, both your EcoBoost and your hybrid. It's available with all of those different engines. So I uh, keep that in mind. Of course, uh, this package, you know, is uh, just depends on what you're looking for with this package. I really try to tell people, uh, you know, go with the Max Trailer Tow Package. If you want the max amount of towing, but also if you needed the upgraded bumper. So this package will include everything that we've talked about as part of the trailer tow package. Uh, and uh, so if you do get, go with that, you will require that. Uh, also not available to 18 inch chrome wheels. So if you're looking at a chrome appearance package, and you're wanting a 302A with the, the XLT Chrome package, it will require you to get the tw to buy the 20 inch Chrome wheels. So keep that in mind as well with this package, uh, but it does give you everything as part of the tow package, you know, that we talked about already. It does give you the hitch, the wiring, smart trailer tow connector, LED light back here, the integrated trailer brake controller also gives you that pro backup assist, uh, but we'll also upgrade the rear bumper. So that gives you, if you're, especially if you're pulling from the, your uh, hitch back here, that's gonna be a nice addition to that. But if you're towing in a fifth wheel, uh, this package really isn't needed. You can go with the tow package and get all the same features. And then also does include the bigger fuel tank, 36 gallon fuel tank. 
uh, but that is an op standalone option as well. So keep in mind, uh, if you want to keep your 18s uh, chrome wheels and you would like to have all those uh, features, go with the tow package and add the uh, bigger fuel tank and you're pretty much done. Oh, you also do get electronic locker uh, gear ratios with this package too, but again, those are standalone options too uh, with this. Uh, so you can, again, depends on how you want your configuration, you can go a little bit cheaper by going with the tow package. But Max Trailer tow package gives you electronic lockers as well. Depends on what engine you have. Uh, so it's 355 electronic locking for the 3.0 liter diesel engine, the two wheel drive hybrid engine, uh, as well as uh, you are going to get this, uh, the 373 with the 4x4 hybrid, and then you're going to also get the 373 with the 5.0 liter V8 engine. So keep that in mind. Some other uh, different, if it depends on the, on the EcoBoost, if you get it with the uh, heavy duty payload package, you're going to get the 373s without the heavy duty payload package with that EcoBoost engine, the 35, you'll get the 355. So uh, a great package. If you're wanting the max amount of towing, you're going to pull from the hitch back here, like a, a big heavy travel trailer with a hitch uh, pull, then you might want to think about get this package, would upgrade the rear bumper and give you some of those other benefits included in there, especially if you like the 20 inch chrome wheels. I do want to talk about a couple different payload packages and again this is pretty similar to the XL video uh, so if you're wanting the heavy duty payload package uh, that one's not available with the 2.7 liter engine but it is available as optional equipment on the XLT 300A or 301A equipment group that mid equipment group not available on the 302A uh, but watch this video on the XL that I did that talked about all the features you get as part of the heavy duty payload package. Now it has to be put on the longer beds. So regular cab, super cab requires you to have the eight foot bed and on the super crew requires you to have the six and a half foot bed as well. Uh, and of course it does require to have the max trailer tow package uh, and then either that EcoBoost or 5.0 engine. Now it's not available with your appearance packages, not available with the STX appearance package or your XL Chrome appearance package. So keep that in mind, not available with either one of those uh, packages. And of course, not available with the 2.7 EcoBoost payload package. Mentions that in the order guide, but not available with the 2.7, so it's kind of a no-brainer there. So let's talk about what's included as part of this payload package. A couple things that are already included as part of the max trailer to package, which is required, and that is your bigger fuel tank. 36 gallon fuel tank is gonna be included here, as well as the 373 electronic locking uh, gear ratios. So that's gonna already be included part of this as well. You're going to also get the 9.75 inch gear set. You're going to get upgraded springs, which make a lot of sense. You want to haul more, so you're just going to upgrade the springs uh, for that as well. Uh, so you're going to have all those. Also, it's going to give you the heavy duty payload package alloy wheel. It's an 18 inch alloy wheel, comes with its own all-terrain tire as well. Uh, so that way it's just, uh, I, I think they wanted to go with that 18 inch wheel because it just uh, made sense. So that way it doesn't give you the option of going to a 20 or anything like that. Uh, 18 inches a good wheel, especially if you're wanting to haul a bunch of weight in the back of the bed. So great, great payload package. Now the other payload package is for that 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So uh, does require to, of course, have the 2.7 liter. It's available on any of your equipment groups. Um, and so you can get that 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So it's available with your appearance packages. So keep that in mind. So especially if you have the 2.7 EcoBoost engine. Uh, so a nice upgrade. Does require to have the trailer tow package uh, with this. Not available with the just the class four receiver hitch or the, and of course, the max trailer tow is not available in the 2.7. But uh, so would require to have the trailer tow package all the features that are included in that package. Uh, it does upgrade a little bit, give you some uh, more payload in it. Uh, it does give you the 373 electronic locking gear ratios, which is a nice upgrade for you. Maybe the only way you, um, you can get those that gear ratio with the 2.7 engine. And of course, upgrade to the uh, 9.75 inch gear set, just like it did with the heavy duty payload package. So great way uh, if you're having the 2.7 to upgrade your payload a little bit more uh, with that truck. Let's talk about one last package a lot of people overlook because it's actually listed in a weird place, not with the packages, but with standalone options, and that's a snowplow prep package. Now, this is a package, uh, especially if you plan on putting a snowplow on there, you might think about getting because it really, really helps eliminate some of the power going other places so you can direct it where you need it to during the situations when you need to plow that snow out. So now this is available in any of your uh, cab configurations, also available on any of your uh, links of beds. So whether it be the short bed uh, or the long beds on any of the, those cab styles, available in any, uh, it's available uh, with the a couple of requirements are 5.0 liter V8 engine is required. Also, you have to have four by four as well with that. So you can get it with the heavy duty payload package or without it, it's not required. 
Uh, but so some, some of those requirements there with this snowplow prep package. Now what it's going to do is it's going to have a button that's going to give you for the snowplow. So that what it's going to do is when you press that button to go in that snowplow mode, it's going to eliminate some of the power going to some places like the 400 watt outlet back here, like your heated seats, uh, like your fog lights, so that you can uh, use that snowplow and uh, have all that power going to that so that it'll actually be functional to use. So this is a great uh, you know addition if you do plan on uh, plowing with it putting a snow plow on the front uh, something that adds that button there uh, any other time though you know it's going to put full full power where it needs to uh, you know on those different things but if you want to you know really direct it during those times when you're plowing then put that button in there and it helps put the power where you need it when you need it so let's talk about some standalone options now. And just like it sounds, these are one options that are available. Uh, depends on what equipment group. Some are available on all the equipment groups and uh, some are uh, limited to certain ones. So we'll break it down as we go through these. So first off, I wanna talk about some things that have to do with the front. One of them is that front license plate bracket. States require front one, uh, front license plate. It is standard equipment. It will come on your truck. Don't have to ask for it. States like Kansas that do not require front license plate, uh, it is a standalone option. It's a no charge option. Ford will not charge you uh, to include it and uh, the dealer is not supposed to charge you to put it on either. So uh, front license plate bracket, we order those on all of our trucks because we do a lot of out of state sales and we have a lot of people like personalized tags. Also, the engine block heater is also available on any of your equipment groups. Uh, engine block heater, uh, if you live in a, a state that's uh, cold a lot, leave your truck outside, not in a garage. Maybe you want to be able to start up real easy. Get that engine block heater. I think it's a $90, $100 charge for that. And again, available on any of your equipment groups. Now, the remote start. Remote start on the 302A is included as part of that remote uh, tailgate release and remote start uh, with an extra uh, the key fob. Um, but on the 301A equipment group, you can get the remote start system. Doesn't come with the power tailgate release or that remote upgrade remote, but you can get the remote start system on a 301A, not available on the 300A. Let's move around to the uh, side over here and do some standalone options. And there's a lot of options over here. I may have to break it up in a couple just because there's so many different requirements of equipment groups on certain of these options. But let's talk first about some upgraded wheels. So if you do have a chrome appearance package, uh, you can get the upgraded 20 inch chrome wheels. So I'm giving an image off Ford's website because this truck does not happen to have that. Uh, so upgraded 20 inch wheels uh, does require to have the chrome appearance package to get those upgraded wheels. And there are some requirements on two wheel drives to go to 20 inch if you get certain run on board. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Also on your sport appearance package, you can upgrade the 18s to the 20s that you did see here earlier with that other uh, uh, truck. Uh, you can go to those dark alloy 20 inch wheels if you want to upgrade on the sport appearance package to those wheels. And again, if you get the extended runner boards, which we're going to talk about in a second, on the two wheel drives requires you to go to that, those wheels, as well as your diesel engines require the 20 inch wheels too. Uh, for some reason there. Now let's talk about running boards for a second. You can get the black platform running boards on the 300 or 301A equipment group. Uh, so it does uh, allow you on those without any kind of a chrome appearance package. Of course, uh, you can't get the chrome appearance package and get the black platform running boards, kind of makes sense. But you can get the platform running boards on the side here. They're pretty cheap, inexpensive. If you're just wanting some nice uh, boards, uh, you can get the black platform running boards. Now you can get these chrome steps over here without having to go to the chrome appearance package. So the 301A equipment group, I believe, uh, maybe the 300A uh, will let, let you to get these uh, chrome running boards here on the side without going up to that. So you can get a 301A equipment group without the chrome appearance package and get the chrome step bars over here not available on the sport appearance package. You can also on the, the chrome appearance package, you can get an extended running board. So if you want it to come down because they're not, no longer doing the side step anymore. So if you want it extended, you can get the six inch extended chrome running boards on the chrome appearance package vehicles. Uh, not available on the super cab long beds. Uh, does require, of course, have a chrome appearance package as well. So 301, 302A equipment group uh, to get those. Now, if you do get the extended running boards on two-wheel drives, you are required to get the 20-inch chrome wheels. Uh, same way with the sport appearance package. You can get the extended six-inch extended running boards on the sport appearance package. Again, not available on your super cab long beds, which I don't think you can get a sport appearance package on them anyway. Um, and it extends it out over towards the bed here. And again, on the two-wheel drives requires you to have the 20-inch dark alloy wheels to go to that run board. So I think I got all the run boards covered there. A couple things on the mirror. So if you're a 300A equipment group and you get that power heated mirror, you wanna to upgrade to that power heated and turn signal mirror, you can do that on the 300A. Now, if you go on a 300 or 301A equipment group, if you want the nice mirror that comes out 
a 302A, you could upgrade to that as well. So if you want that spotlights over here uh, on your mirror, then you can upgrade to the LED spotlights. It's going to get the LED security approach lamp because they go hand in hand together. Uh, you're going to get both of those along with your power heat turn signal. Uh, you can, that is available on the 300 or 301A equipment group. Let's talk about the trailer tow mirrors. Trailer tow mirrors do require at least the tow package or trailer, max trailer tow package to add those mirrors. I think it does require to have the uh, 301 or 302A equipment group and it does require all the same features. So we'll include the, the LED spotlights, the security approach lamps that are high intensity, power heat, turn signal as well, but allows you to manually telescope the mirrors out for towing and push them back in. And there'll also be a manual fold like these will too. So a couple different options for some mirror options for you. Two-tone paint is available, uh, not available on the Sport Appearance Package, but available with a Chrome Appearance Package or with your, I believe, the 301A or 302A equipment group, uh, not available on the 300A, which you're seeing now there are a lot of things that aren't available on 300A, why we elect to not go with the 300A. So you can get the two-tone paint. If you do it with a chrome appearance package like this, you will keep the chrome bumpers and you'll have two-tone on the side of the doors and back here. Uh, of course, in the back of the rear back there. Uh, but if you have this on a 300 or 301A equipment group uh, without the chrome appearance package, then the, the, uh, your bumpers will also be the two-tone as well. So I'm giving you an image of Ford's website, a couple of those options for two-tone paint here. You can also get the 36 gallon fuel tank standalone option, I believe on any of your equipment groups, but it may only be the 301 or 302. I'll put it on here if I can. I'm having a hard time remembering all the different equipment groups, uh, but that is available for you uh, to get that as a standalone option. Like I mentioned, you know, if you want to keep your 18 inch chrome wheels and you want all the towing, don't need a bumper pull or a pull uh, conventional, uh, you're, then you can get the extended range fuel tank, go with the power, the uh, trailer tow package, save yourself about a thousand bucks plus the cost of the wheels. So keep that in mind there. Also the keypad entry is uh, going to be included on the 301A equipment group, but is available on the 300A equipment group. Uh, but for some reason, the order guide says it does require to get the trailer tow or the, the 360 degree camera package. I'm not sure why on that, but that's what the order guide is telling us. So uh, if we can order it any way, I'll definitely let you know in the comments down below. Uh, but I think that's uh, all the uh, equipment here on the side of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and move to the back. Now moving to the back, I'm going to talk about some standalone options. I'm going to go on just a little bit of a rant here for a second, and that is on the tailgate step. So tailgate step is a standalone options. On the XL, is available on any of your equipment groups, but for the XLT, it's available on, for retail customers on the 301 and 302A equipment group, not available on the 300. Only way you can get the tailgate step on the 300 a is as a fleet order so a little disappointed with ford there need to make it available for the retail customers as well it just doesn't make any sense tailgate step just uh, go ahead and uh, push that square there and it comes out real nice and easy to use you pull the, the arm out and put it into place you'll notice it won't get in the way of any kind of hitch or anything that you want to leave under there uh, big bonus to this uh, tailgate step versus Chevy's little nice multi tailgate system thing. Uh, so anyway, this is a real nice tailgate step. Uh, I've been using this step for quite a few years now and it works really well. It is also paired with the tailgate work surface. Does have the ruler up here uh, so that you can use that. Does have slots for pens, also for beverages or whatever you want, don't want to move, maybe bolts and that kind of thing right there, but you can just work right off that tailgate work surface. So paired together, again, available in the 301 and 302A equipment group unless you're fleet, then you get to 300A. Okay, inside, LED box lighting available on the 301A equipment group. It's already included in the 302A equipment group. So you're gonna have the button over here on the side, LED lights in there in the bed, as well as the back of the cab. Uh, includes the zone lighting. Anytime you see the uh, LED box lighting, it will include the zone lighting. Uh, so you can light all the way around the truck. So probably would include, uh, I didn't see in the order guide, but probably would uh, ask you on the 301A to upgrade to the LED spotlight mirror. Uh, so I think it's a $200 option there, but it probably does require that there as well. Back glass, you can get the power sliding rear window. In the past, it's been included in some different equipment groups. Now it's a standalone option on the 301A or 302A equipment group. So that's a nice addition. It will come with the rear defrost already that it has in there. Box link system is a standalone option in any of your equipment groups. Uh, come with the plates on the side of the bed here, four plates there. So positioned perfectly so you can put the bed dividers in there where you can get the lockable cleats, put the ramps on there too. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit and some of those different accessories you can get from the factory. The box link system can come in real handy that way. Also, we do have the Pro Power on board. We already talked about the hybrid engines. It's going to be standard equipment and get the 2.4 kilowatt. But some gas engines can get the 
two kilowatt as well. So super cab, super crew models, other than the super cab long bed, can get the two kilowatt on power, power onboard generator. Uh, so not available with the 3.3 gas or the 3.0 diesel engine. Um, but is available with the 2.7, the 5.0, or the, two, three, the traditional 3.5 EcoBoost that we're used to. It's going to give you like two outlets over here on the side. Also, the uh, hybrid engines, the Super Crew models on any of your equipment groups can upgrade to the 7.4 kilowatt Pro Power on board. So that's a real nice to be able to upgrade to that. It's going to come with four outlets back there, plus it's going to have the 240 watt outlet uh, plug in too. So that's a nice upgrade if you have a hybrid engine to be able to power all kinds of things, being able to work back here just like a construction crew with that hybrid engine there. Also, there is an individual tire pressure monitoring system with a customer placed camera that you can add as a standalone option. Any of your equipment groups, the only requirement is you will have to have the 360 degree camera package or the tow technology package that needs to work with those camera systems. Uh, so that is also available as a standalone option here. Let's talk about some interior features here, and I do have my sheet here in my lap, so just in case I need to refer to it, I'll have it here. Uh, but a lot of things here that are on some and not others, so it's get a little confusing. But the vinyl flooring is available on a 300 or 301A equipment group uh, instead of the carpeted flooring if you'd like to. So special those farmers, they might want to get that. So any of your cab configurations works with the vinyl flooring. Also, you can see it does have the, this has have the floor liners, so all weather mats in here, uh, floor liners with or without the carpet uh, this year, uh, available in your Super Cab or Super Crew models, any of your equipment groups there. The console shifter, or, or console I should say, bucket seats with the console is available in any of your equipment groups uh, in the Super Cab or Super Crew version. Uh, so it does, uh, you can get it that way. Now if it's not the Sport Appearance Package, if it's a Chrome Appearance Package or on the, the other ones without any appearance package, the shifter will be located up here and you'll have the, the flow through console but you will not have the shifter in the console itself unless it's the sport appearance package so uh, real nice uh, little system with the bucket seats with the console you can get it as a standalone option in any of your super crew or super cab or super crew models the power adjustable pedals those pedals to go forward and back for you those are available as a standalone option this year on a 301 or 302a equipment group integrated trailer brake controller that is included in your uh, uh, you can add that it does require to have the class 4 receiver hitch so 300a would require that but it also it's a standalone option on the others too uh, if you just get the class 4 receiver hitch uh, so uh, but if you get it on a 300a you would have to get the class 4 receiver hitch as well so you can get the integrated trailer controller it'd be located right above the drive modes here and you can use that right there also, the connected built-in navigation with the Sirius XM radio is available as a standalone option on a 301 or 302A equipment group. So that's going to give you uh, the built-in navigation. Basically, you're going to get a uh, subscription for a couple months before you, you have to pay for the uh, membership each month for the Sirius or for that, as well as Sirius XM. You'd have to pay for subscription for that service as well. B&O audio sound system, you can upgrade to that. So it gives you an eight speaker audio sound system in this uh, uh, vehicle uh, does require to have the uh, 302A equipment group so it's not available on 300 or 301A but you can upgrade to the B&O once you go on up to that 302A equipment group with one of those appearance packages there. Also in the back you do have the partitioned uh, lockable storage underneath those seats that's new for this year. Uh, it's a late availability we haven't seen a vehicle with those uh, that we've ordered yet come in uh, but you can get those. Uh, it does require the super cab or super crew models to get that or I'm sorry, just the Super Crew models, not the Super Cab. Uh, so available on those Super Crews. Does it need those extended um, uh, cushions on the bottom? So in the, on the Super Cab, they're a little bit different size than the Super Crew. So it does need those bigger compartments back there uh, for that. So interior work surface as well is a standalone option. So that it, you do not have to have the bucket seats with the console to get the interior work surface. They are two different designs. In fact, I took a, an image. We got one vehicle in, in the bench seat with that in there. So I have a clip that I took with my cell phone there, as you can see, where that just kind of pulls out and then slides over in front of the driver. Uh, or if you have the console, it's going to go ahead and just flip straight up over the rest of that console there. Um, if it have a shifter there, you just press that shifter and it's going to go down like we showed you earlier and it would go over that. The work surface would go over there. Now that interior work surface is available on any of your equipment groups, any of your cab configurations as well. So that's a nice addition there. Um, the onboard 400 watt outlet, uh, that is a um, standard on the 
302A equipment group, but is available on the 300 or 301 in the Super Cab or Super Crew models. Uh, so that'll give you the outlet up here, as well as you have the console, one behind the console, and then one in the bed. So uh, I don't believe you can get that on the, the long bed, but it doesn't mention that in the order guide. Uh, but you can get that 400 watt outlet even in the bed back there. So uh, real nice addition for that. Also, you have a twin panel moonroof. So a couple configurations is available on the Super Crew models, uh, 301 or 302A equipment group. I uh, believe, yep, uh, and the 301 does require to have the power sliding rear window, but not on the 302. And I wasn't sure how, why that was, and I think it's because it needs the power uh, switches to go through the roof to the back. And so if you have a power sliding rear window, you're okay, but you have the 400 watt outlet on the 302A. So I'm not sure why they require both of those, but not sure how they have it, but that's what they are saying in the order guide. 301A equipment group will need the power sliding rear window, get the twin panel moonroof with the power sunshade. But on the Super Crew uh, 302A equipment group vehicles, uh, it can just be orders as a standalone option that way. So, uh, and then the kicker subwoofer is available on the 301 or 302A equipment group with the uh, Super Crew models or even the Super Cabs. Do does require one of the appearance packages for that and is not available with the B&O audio sound system. So uh, I think I covered all of those. I uh, did have to look at my notes a couple times there, uh, but I think we got all those uh, standalone options there for you. So there are a lot of them that require certain ones. As you notice throughout the standalone options, there are a lot of them that were not available on 300A. Uh, so that means just something for you to think about going on up to that 301A equipment group to get some of those other options that you may be looking for. Now we're going to talk about some accessories you can get. You know, these are factory accessories. Uh, they're on their website under the exterior and interior features, uh, not down in the accessories section. So there's even more down there. I'm not going to go over all those. These are the ones that are listed in the exterior interior uh, or the exterior features really for all these accessories because I put those all towards the uh, talking about the bed here. So uh, real nice. There's several different things. Uh, one of them I want to talk about first because I always forget about it, and that's the wheel well liners. Wheel well liners can be ordered on the 301 or 302A equipment group. It does require the one of the appearance packages, either the XLT Chrome or Sport appearance package. To get those, that's why it requires the 301 or 302A equipment group, so you can get that added. Also, pickup box extender. That is available on any of your equipment groups, uh, so it does actually go into these slots over here. It actually folds and stows on the sides, on both sides over there, kind of splits in half. You can extend it back over. The tailgate locks together in the middle, and then uh, you, have an you have it extended so things won't roll out. Um, so, and then you can also then rotate it inside close the bed and you have a kind of contained area there. So you're seeing a clip from, I think maybe even 2019 where we had one of those that I did that clip and they're the same style still uh, for the 2021 F-150. So that's available for you too. Also a couple things with the box link system I want to talk about. So box link is a standalone option but it does have a couple of great uses for accessories. One of them is the bed dividers. So you would uh, put the dividers in those positions of the box link across uh, the bed there. So that way it divides your bed into sections. So if you, especially if you want one, I thought about getting one just to put back here so that I can contain things towards the back of the bed, open it up and they're right there to get to. Or maybe you want to contain things in the middle so they won't roll out. So when you open the tailgate, they don't roll out of the tailgate. Whatever you can do uh, with those, um, the bed dividers. Now keep in mind, bed dividers, when you order from the factory, if you don't order that and like the loading ramps, uh, you can't order those together uh, because of the way they would be positioned. But what you do is you order one afterwards. Uh, you go ahead and get one from the you know from Ford, and then they would maybe install it, and then you would go ahead and order the other from the Ford dealer when the, the truck comes in, or you can do it prior to the truck coming in, and so you have it ready to go. Also, using the box link system, you can use the loading ramps. It uses the lockable cleats. They would go in there, and loading ramps would stow on the side of each bed there for each of those loading ramps, and they would go over there. Of course, you can see why they wouldn't be available with the bed divider. You can't put those in there. They use the same system. Them. Also not available with the bed cover or the toolboxes because they would interfere in both of those different things at the same time. So again though if you want to have a bed cover and then you only use a loading ramp at certain times then you probably can make it work uh, somehow there. But loading ramps would also go out over the, the tailgate over here. Only uh, available on the 301 or 302 not available on 300A. Uh, that's available, uh, I, and I on the XL video, it also mentioned in the order guide that, that it wasn't available the tailgate step. So not sure on that. You may want to uh, check that out when you go ahead and try to click on that. If you put, if you want tailgate step in the loading ramps, try to put them both in there. Uh, for it won't let you on the order guide or the uh, building price if it's not available that way. 
Also, uh, come some ways to protect the bed itself. You can get a drop-in liner, so drop-in liner available on any of your equipment groups as well, uh, but not available with your hybrids because of the Pro Power on board over here. So they haven't made the drop-in liners with the right cutouts yet. Uh, so, uh, so you would have to think about that. You could always probably get it, um, or actually, you can't order from the factory that way, but it might be something from your dealer. You can slide that in there and then find a way to cut that that spot out. Also, there's a spray and liner. That's probably the way I'd go. Spray and liner uh, that does a tough bed spray and liner. We'll have the four of them on the back of the bed uh, back there, and you can spray it in. That is available with your hybrid engines, available with your box link, available with everything, uh, all, all that other stuff, all available on all the, any of your equipment groups as well with that spray and liner. A couple other things to think about that you might want to get is some different bed covers. So some of the bed covers, uh, there's a soft folding bed cover, so you can get that one. Uh, that's available. Also, there is a hard folding bed cover, tri-fold. Uh, that one, I think, is about $1,000. I think the soft one is about $700 or something like that from the factory. And then there's also, for this year, a retractable bed cover that retracts in uh, to it as well. That one, I think, is about $1,600. And Ford doesn't mention this other one, but through Ford Accessories, you can get a roll-up aluminum bed cover. I think it's $2,000 uh, for that one, maybe a little less. I'm not sure. But I'm not going to mention that in order, guy, because it's not on their website. So, uh, also, uh, if you're getting the bed covers, it's not available with the stowable ramps we just talked about, or the toolboxes. Toolboxes there are two available. There's aluminum and a premium aluminum by WeatherGuard. Um, don't have any images. Ford doesn't have images on their website of what those are going to look like. But again, you couldn't get those with the bed covers or with their loading ramps or with the bed dividers because they would interfere in all those. Uh, so, if you want a toolbox, so you can get that from Ford. Uh, I think I've covered everything in the way of accessories uh, for your truck here. There's many other things you can get, but those are the ones that are showing on Ford's website under the exterior features. So I think we've covered everything in our complete guide walk around on the XLT trim of the F-150. We've covered standard equipment, the 301, 302A equipment group, all the different packages you can get, standalone options, even some accessories there. So I think it's been pretty thorough. If I forgot anything, Drop it down in the comments. Um, I'm human, I could miss some things, so uh, please let me know so I can make this a complete guide. So again, if you're wanting to see some inventory out there, uh, you can go to our website, lawmacarthur.com. There on each one of our vehicles, you can see uh, you know, all the pictures that we do. We picture all of our new and our used individually. Uh, so it's not some AI generated uh, pictures. You can see actual pictures from our photographer in this building. Uh, also we do spins on there, so you can see the vehicle spin around, see interior, uh, uh, through kind of a interactive uh, experience there. And you're gonna see our internet price uh, and yeah, you can check out that. If you have any questions, of course, you can call or send a numbers to the, the text numbers down below here. You can probably see those on the screen as well as they're down in the description. Again, if you have any questions on uh, any, any, any of our inventory, you can call them. You can also respond to this, uh, this uh, video. Put your comments down below. I do respond to any questions that way. If you just have some questions about product or you want to reach out to me, you can call the dealership and ask for me and I'll answer you in your questions. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, even if you didn't buy from us, I'll answer your questions. I do that all the time. And uh, these videos are really to kind of help people out, especially because it's so extensive and so detailed uh, that it's really just something that we like to do to kind of uh, show you and, and help you out when you're getting your new truck. Whether you get it from Law MacArthur or not, uh, we like to help you out. But if you are interested in getting from us, we do free shipping. So if you're interested in, in getting a vehicle, you can get it ordered the way you want it to from a dealership that knows their product and is passionate about the product and can order it the way, they, way you want it, uh, then go ahead and reach out to us and we can do that and have it shipped right to your door for free. And uh, the, really there is uh, the only one catch on that and that is we ask you to finance the vehicle with us. So if you plan on financing it anyway, no cost that's incurred onto you, the shipper gives an, or the financing company gives us enough kickback, we can cover the cost to ship it to your door. We do cap it at $1,000 for that reason, uh, but a great way to get a vehicle ordered the way you want it to from a dealership that knows what they're talking about delivered right to your door. So take advantage of that if you want to, and I uh, really appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So if you want to see some cool videos on Ford products, uh, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Not a lot of selling going on, just a lot of fun and a lot of uh, you know knowledge given out to you uh, to help you out. And we do some really cool custom builds you might be interested in as well. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and follow it. Share this video out if you have somebody you know of that maybe is uh, thinking about getting a vehicle. Smash the like button if you like this video. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the video as well. Uh, and don't forget, we are on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So you can see what's going on at the dealership. And if you're wanting to stay connected with us, uh, go ahead and do that. And of course, until the next video, hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you later.